Boy, who? Boy, boy. Boy, don't let me open my eyes. Boy, don't let me open my eyes while you're still here. One, two, three. Fuck it. it's been so long i forgot how to do this i forgot how to do it i forgot how to do it hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel my name is J nyambuzi only because i'm the goat oh my gosh that's my intro i missed you guys how have you been how have you been doing how's everything if it's windy obviously i'm outside i'm in the ruins i look like i was kidnapped this looks like a kidnapping place but this is just the yard where i live at like this is the behind wild hi how are you oh my gosh hi hello <laughs> we coming back to youtube after 19 years um you know i'm gonna start off with the story time i haven't done one of the sit downs for a really long time so i'm going to do it oh my god so let me the story is going to be like a story a story of all the instances where boys did went above and beyond for me in primary like when i was young like you know when boys have a crush on you and everything yeah things like that so let me tell you when i was in class okay let me see who was my first like who who did i actually you know i liked someone for the first time when i was in form two like when i had a crush like an actual crush oh no class eight actually oh my god class eight <laughs> i'll tell you everything relax so when i was in class which one is the one that i remember the most oh when i was in class four when i was in class three four when i was in class three four um oh class three i was in a new school and i just come from a school in Oshago. so i was just playing with my neighbor's kids and then my neighbor's kids are like nyambura kevin and a kunoki you remember that kunoki word <laughs> ah kevin and a kunoki i was like yeah, even the Mabati is shocked. <laughs> I was like, what is Kunoki? I've never looked back. That's the one question that I should never have asked. My innocence was lost there. That's when I lost all my innocence. I've never been the same again. Anyway, Kevin and Kunoki. I was like, I don't even remember Kevin's face. I just know that that was the first time when I asked who's, who's Kevin. Ah, oh, what's Kunoki? And then my friend explained to me, it's like, he likes you. Like, he wants to... to, to to like hug you i was like god damn that filthy nasty football playing us boy <laughs> that's kalongo playing us nigga <laughs> yeah him but like that's that's the first time i was like oh crushes that's that's what a crush is oh, okay okay but i was very oblivious i was I think I was so oblivious all of my primary school life until I got to class eight and had an actual crush myself. So that's that's the first boy who I was aware that liked me. But also when I was a kid in class one, like the class twos would tell me something like, I like you the most in all your class or just be checking me out. I don't know. That's weird. Is that weird? Is that weird? I don't know, man. Is that weird? I mean, it's a kid on kid thing. So I, I don't think that's weird, but like, I don't know i don't know anyway so when i was in class five another boy had a crush on me he was in my it was in my primary school and at some point we were actually neighbors and this boy would write me letters like he wrote me letters um <laughs> he would write me letters and then um he finally you remember that's when i i actually got a phone when i was in class one my first phone was when I was in class one. My mom bought a new phone and then bought another phone. And then I got that one. And then the next one, Ingyad. Kwa supu ya ndengu. Ika ribika. Anyway, so when I was in class five, this boy, what's his name? Let's give him another name because I met him the other day in KU. And I was like, boy, okay, you, you're grown up and shit. You all grown up. But um, when I was in class five, let's call him steve steve had a crush on me and he was like hi um he'd come to my house first of all he used to come to my house i remember this 1 8 p.m we were in the house and we were chilling i was doing math homework and i remember i was in trouble my parents were giving me hell for for writing my name in an example like you know how 
I was such a Leo. I've always been such a Leo. You see how a teacher is reading a question in class, and then instead of writing, a Joyce has, or oh, why did I say Joyce? Mary, sorry, Mary. <laughs> oh, Joyce, yeah. Joyce has, um, Joyce, Joyce has, um, has 62 watermelons. Yeah, instead of Joyce, I'd write my name because I'm a Leo like that. Uh, uh. <laughs> yeah, eh. Um, and then my parents were mad at me. And I was like, what the hell are you so mad for? Why are you so mad for? But it's okay, it's okay. It's in the past. But I was in trouble that night. And he came and rang the bell. My dad went. And you know, my dad, he used to... <laughs> my dad went to open the gate. And then he was like, uh-huh. Then Steve was like, I, I want to talk to, to Gladys. He used to call me Gladys. I want to talk to Gladys. I said, boy, who? Boy, boy. Boy, don't let me open my eyes. Boy, don't let me open my eyes while you're still here. I was so confused. I was like, who you think you is? Why would you come to my house at 8 p.m.? Do you know 8 p.m. toddler time? That's my bedtime. What are you doing here? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I also remember there was someone else called... Babji, I think his name was Babji. Babji came and, and rang my bell and told my mom that he wanted to see me. And then my mom told him I was sleeping. And then he told her she should wake me up. My mom was so mad at me the next day, like I was the one who asked her to wake me up. What the hell do you mean? First of all, she didn't wake me up, obviously. I'm in a Kikuyu household. What do you think this was? Telemundo. No, honey. No, it don't work like that. My mom won't wake me up. Anyway, Steve came to my house at 8 p.m., asked my, my dad if he could talk to me, and then my, my dad entered the house and was like, Nyambura, unaitwa. <laughs> I was like, God damn. God, the Leoni Komoto Maze. Ay! Leoni Komoto Maze. Ay! Leoni Komoto Maze. Ah, but anyway, um, we did, we did. We talked, we just talked. I don't remember what he wanted. Oh, he told me he liked me. Yeah, he told me he liked me. And then he took my number, but he'd always had my number. I don't know where he got my number, but he'd send me 10 bob airtime. And I'd be like, why would you send me airtime? I don't need your airtime. Then I send it back. Who did I think I was? First of all, that's a man. That's a true king right there. He wants to provide for this queen. That's a true king right there. That's a true king. That's king shit. Thank you. Like sending me 10 bob airtime was such a big deal concert because that's already 300 SMSs. It used to be 500 SMS a month unlimited. Exactly. So that's him buying me unlimited SMSs so I can talk to him. Oh my God. That's so cute. Oh my gosh. So cute. But you know, I ended up living there until I t like class eight. So... I had every day there was something new like he'd write me letters obviously i kept saying no i kept saying no because i couldn't comprehend what it is to like someone i didn't like anyone until class eight like until we were grown grown i went to boarding school in class seven that's when i left his school but like i couldn't comprehend being liked or liking someone or the concept of i have to finish school you know you know i was just one of those girls i have to study you now books before boys because the boys bring babies <laughs> books before boys because boys bring babies they didn't lie they didn't lie kids you know boys bring babies books before boys always but he'd write me letters um he'd just like when i've been sent to the shop and i'm walking he'd always offer to walk with to walk me to walk with me to the shop um he was always so concerned and then on his birthday he invited me but then i was like the one in charge I was like, goddamn boy, who you think I am? Anyway, thanks. <laughs> but I never did anything. Like, I never liked him back. And I never... I didn't... He was just a sweet boy. I always saw him as such a good friend, you know. Um, and what else? What else did he do? He did so many things for me, honestly. I can't be bothered to count all of them. Anyway, so when I got to class 8... Let me tell you about my first crush. When I got to class 8... <laughs> Um, I had a crush. Let's call him Melvin. Yeah, I had a crush on Melvin. He was in form two and I was in class eight. Let me tell you, he was so tall. He was so tall. He was tall, dark and handsome. And he had, he, he was Maasai. 
and you know how Masai teeth he just had nice teeth he just had nice teeth like that's all I have to say honestly he just had really nice teeth <laughs> he had really nice teeth and he was so tall like he always looked so mature and he always kept to himself I was like oh my god <laughs> ah! I remember one day he was, he was a neighbor of my neighbor he lived across me also so like um he i remember this one time he he said bye to me like i was sitting next to him outside but then i was like okay i have to go back inside i didn't have to go back inside it's just if i stayed there any longer i was gonna piss my pants because that's how excited i was have you seen those dogs who are so excited well they work their tails they pee a little yeah i was beginning to pee a little and that was becoming a little bit of a problem so i was like okay i have to go bye and then he said bye to me and i just like i shook his hand but then he did he did this he did this how can i i got in the house like i just closed the gate and stood there i was like i am never leaving i am never leaving my god i'm never leaving i'm never leaving I'm in this shit forever. I'm never washing my hands. I'm never washing my hands. I'm never doing anything. I'm done. This is it. I am in love. This is the love of my life. We're getting married and I'll bring him to my parents. Anyway, the next week he posted, he put some shorty as his DP. Then I was like, oh, nice DP. And he said, yeah, that's my girlfriend. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> anyway we move we move <sighs> we move but also when i was in class eight um when i first joined oh that's class seven when i first joined my my boarding school my i at the back of the class there was a notice board some kind of notice board yeah and there was a calendar and people would write their birthdays so when I came and I was new, people wrote my name on my birthday, like on my birthday, yeah. And they they realized that I share a birthday with someone else. This one I can say his name. His name is Athman. So Athman, oh my God, Athman. Uh, <laughs> oh my days. That's the first bold person who loved, who like likes me boldly. Like someone who was bold enough to actually tell me, you know what, you're very beautiful, you're so pretty. And plus, in my in my boarding school, like where I was, people used to be coupled up by the teacher. Like it wasn't it wasn't a big deal. People had the boyfriends. People liked each other. It wasn't that big of a deal. Crushes was such an everyday thing, you know. That it was also a pretty freestyle boarding school, if you ask me. Yeah, it was in Yeri. Anyway, so uh, when I got there, Athman hadn't come. I think he was sick, so he'd been staying at home for a while. And then when he came back, I was like, "Who is this? Who is this?" He was light skinned, a little taller than I am, and just in general, he was Tanzanian also. So his name was Athman Musa. Oh my God! If you know him, please don't tell him. <laughs> please don't tell him. But um, we used to have Mjadala every Friday. So on Fridays we have like some kind of debate. I was Kiongozi on Mjadala. Imagine, and it was in Kiswahili. So me standing in front of people and being like basically a Kiswahili MC. Don't, don't, don't be underestimating me like that. Don't be underestimating me like that. Don't be underestimating me like that. Don't be caught underestimating me like that. <coughs> I'm a linguist. Kiswahili is my language. Nikianza kuongea sayi mtalia. Mtalia, mtalia. You literally pay me tithe for speaking. You'll start tithing to me, bro. Bro, bro yeah anyway i used to be good that's the last time i was good at kiswahili and athman was also really good at kiswahili but he just win jadala all the time <clears throat> but it's you win inside actually he was always on the winning team he's a very good communicator anyway um this one time after Mjadala, obviously i'm in charge of making sure that the whole place has been cleaned up i'm basically like the prefect of the Mjadala. you get what i mean so um we get to the end and at the end 
that was in the dining hall we were also going to eat in the dining hall right you have you you have to have like a before bed snack yeah so we're going for that and while i was leaving you know people up and in the line while i'm walking away like i'm clearing up the dining hall and i'm walking around looking so busy he comes behind me and like in front of everyone says nyambura i've fallen in love with you i said boy i said what that one kwanza i actually called him out i was like boy what what'd you say what'd you say boy huh boy 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 what'd you say huh i i ignored him i think i was just like why would you say that why are you saying that in front of people i don't understand what's going on why are you telling me this in front of my husband where is this coming from why are you telling me this in front of my husband <laughs> oh i was just so like damn that's some balls you have balls boy anyway so he really had a crush on me he tried to get me multiple times oh it just ended it just ended like that was it and then that was terence guy i sound like a hoe i swear i'm not a hoe because all of these things either i keep to myself when i have a crush i don't tell them so like having a crush is normal it's what you do with the crush that matters okay okay so i had a crush on terence we didn't talk much he was in class eight and i was in class seven and we just never interacted you know class eights were always so busy and looking like they they lead the whole school you know so like we never really interacted but yeah i had a crush on him for like a year that was weird that was so so so, so weird so weird <clears throat> then high school um i didn't like anyone until from three from three i met some swahili boy hey, swahili's swahili's mm, can you have me on a chokehold anyway so i met this swahili boy we were talking over the holidays but then he was playing me and some shorty who looks like me that was crazy he drives us like the same letters that's insane and dedicates the same songs Kwanza that september 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 love song. You are my September song that a summer left. Instead to so, huh? What Se September? Something by JP Cooper. September love song. I think September. <coughs> he dedicated that to me. And dedicated that to her. So we were both music students. One day we we're just chilling and we're like, oh my god, I love this song so much. Then I, and she's like, me too. Oh my gosh, some boy dedicated it to me. I say, you know what's funny, girl? What's funny is someone dedicated it to me too. Someone dedicated it to me too. Yeah, who who dedicated it to you? <laughs> immediately, immediately we knew. We knew the streets ain't safe. The streets ain't what they used to be. So yeah, basically. But that's the that's the last boy that I. <laughs> okay, I ain't gonna lie. I ain't gonna lie. Okay, 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 okay. You got me. You got me. I'm not gonna lie. Oh, I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I'm not gonna say what I was going to say because it's cap and you know it. Anyway, so we've come to the end of the story time, where I was talking about people who liked me, had crushes on me, and people I had crushes on. Um, obviously, no hate to any of those people. Um. Because that last boy from high school, Nime Kusalimi and Nedako Gaydia, Yedeka Mono, Yedeka Nashiade Raine. Nah, yeah. I think we've come to the end. Uh, I'll see if this can be a regular thing. Also, my podcast is on hold for a minute. I took a break to take care of my mental health. Um, and let me tell you my biggest takeaway from everything that's happened to me this year is. I should stay f stay away from people live in my truth live in my truth I should live in my truth I should stay away from people who make me feel like I am not allowed to make mistakes I'm a hundred percent allowed first of all I'm allowed to make mistakes that even I know for myself so me telling you is an extra you get what I mean like I already know in my heart I'm allowed to fuck up you are not allowed to make me feel like whatever I've done is so unforgivable and 
you're not even in the forgiving spectrum you're not in the spectrum of people that are supposed to forgive me for anything so i'm not gonna be carrying burdens for people who i don't even know you know release yourself from the shackles of feeling like i'm your child and yeah i think we're gonna have a great long-lasting relationship on this platform <coughs> please subscribe share comment like what else do people do repost stitch duet <laughs> i don't know bye bye i love you I can cook kiss na jacha li akwa jacha kiss lao 2 3 fuck it